welcome back friends in the last class we discussed about invitations now we have seen the introduction to invitations we also have seen how to write a formal invitation card and how to prepare replies for those cards i hope you have done the homeworks given yesterday and today we will see how to write a formal invitation letter how to write a formal invitation letter and how to write replies for a formal invitation letter yesterday we also discussed about how to bring happiness in our lives during this time today i'll speak about one more way to bring happiness that is through revive old indoor games the indoor games your parents played or your grandparents played during their times or during their childhood reinvent all those games into your life there are many games like ludo and snake and ladder and that pickestick game which is called as mikado mikado is a japanese word it's a european game but got a japanese name uh, we need a set of sticks to play the game you have to take out those sticks from the floor without moving other sticks so many such games are there uh, you find out from your parents and start playing those games during your leisure time and yesterday we discussed about a book word power made easy it is here and uh, today we will discuss about another book another life changing book named the secret written by ronda byan so this book was based on a film of the same name the secret released in 2006 many misunderstand this book as uh, something that guides us to be rich it doesn't guide us to be rich but it guides us to be successful in our lives and to be happy in our lives talks about the importance of gratitude and visualization in achieving one's goals and desires the author explains his points through various illustrations and examples it also talks about how to build up relationships with the family and with the society how to improve health prosperity and also our general vision about this universe definitely it will have some impact in your lives in vocabulary building i have some phrasal verbs related to sleep the first one is sleep in I sleep until or after the time you usually get up i'm so tired today i'll sleep in tomorrow next one is sleep over sleep at someone's house can i sleep over my friend's house the another one is sleep on something you postpone your decisions until the next day so that you have time to think over it during night i am going to sleep over this issue tomorrow i let you know my decisions okay that's about vocabulary now we will move on to our topic invitation so yesterday we have seen the introduction to invitation uh, we have seen what are the different kinds of invitations that we are going to study this year now we will have a quick revision of what we studied as study invitations are of two kinds formal invitations and informal invitations formal invitations are divided again into two types the first one is formal invitation card which is written in third person and it is meant to invite a group like marriage invitation cards or annual day or sports day invitation cards and formal invitation letter has the format of a formal letter and it is meant to invite a vip for a function and informal invitation letter has the format of an informal letter it doesn't have a subject like the formal letter and it is meant to invite a person to a party or to a function so these are the two kinds of invitations and about the marking scheme invitation carries four marks one mark for format and two marks for content one mark for expression and total four marks that's what we studied yesterday today we will study formal invitation letter what is formal invitation letter 
and when we write formal invitation letter we write a formal invitation letter when we are inviting a vip for a function a guest of honor for a function chief guest for a function or somebody to inaugurate the function in the last lesson we have seen the second example of annual day celebrations a card is given to the others for coming to witness the program so for the chief guest i repeat a formal invitation letter is given in the format of formal letter let us see the format of this formal invitation letter so this letter that you are seeing on the screen is a formal invitation letter written by the principal of gps public school trichy to shriman sj raja the district collector trichy inviting him for the sports day of the school this letter follows the format of formal letter first we have the sender's address without name i advise you not to write more than three lines and don't waste time write the address given in the question if address is not given you invent the address then leave a space write the date then receive as address either you write the designation of the person or you start from the name name designation and address or designation and address both are acceptable then we have the subject in some formats you may see the salutation first then subject both are acceptable here i have taken it in this way subject invitation for sports day regarding very simple subject only that is required then salutation sir then the first sentence of the body tells about the details of the event with immense pride you are hereby informed that this vidyalaya is conducting its 25th sports day then date on 2nd may year where then where it is conducted at the municipal stadium trichy then the second sentence in the body tells about what is expected from the person here what we have written your benign presence as the chief guest is solicited at the inaugural ceremony of the event at 9 am on 2nd may at the stadium so what is expected to be the chief guest presence as a chief guest and then where and when at 9 am time should be specified mentioned on 2nd may and where at the stadium which stadium already it is mentioned at the municipal stadium and the third sentence is about how how you expect the person to confirm his presence so here it is written through email a line of reply is solicited by email to confirm your gracious presence uh, at which email you want the reply then uh, at then signatory as usual as in any formal letter so it is very simple in the body you have only three sentences first sentence tells about the details of the event and second sentence you write what is expected from the guest sometimes a chief guest sometimes to give away the prizes sometimes it may be like uh, be a judge uh, uh, in a competition uh, sometimes a guest of honor so whatever it is you have to mention it in the second sentence first sentence is for giving the details of the event or program and third sentence have you expect a reply or confirmation whatever it is so i request you to follow this format as such and even the sentences as such no need of change, making much changes to it and if you are planning to make some change just see that the sentences are correct that was a format of formal invitation letter and about the marking scheme it is same as formal invitation card but in format you have many things like uh, from address uh, date 
to address subject salutation closing everything so that was formal invitation letter now let's see how to prepare replies for this letters suppose a person got the letter he is accepting the invitation so how will he write a letter to accept the invitation the format of a letter of accepting invitation is same as any other formal letters we start with sender's address without name here the collector is writing the letter accepting invitation so address starts with collector rate stadium road trichy then date then receiver's address then the principal gps public school trichy and then the subject then salutation sir everything is same for all the formal letters then coming to the content the first sentence expresses the happiness of being invited for a uh, for the event and also you have to write the details of the event this will be there in the question paper you just have to copy it as such mm -hmm. then second sentence you have to thank the authorities for inviting you and also you have to confirm your presence at the function only two sentences so first sentence has got two things your happiness for being invited and details of the event for which you are invited second sentence has got two things you are thanking the authorities for inviting you and you are confirming your presence there this is the body two sentences it's very easy and at the end signatory yours yours faithfully name and uh, the designation that was accepting invitation now we'll move on to declining invitation how to decline an invitation very politely the format is same as the formal invitation letter acceptance sender's address without name date receiver's address then subject and salutation everything is same even the first sentence also is same details of the event then the second sentence i express my heartfelt gratitude for the invitation thanking the authorities for the invitation and third sentence but i regret to express my inability to attend the ceremony due to some prior engagement you are expressing your inability to go there and attend the function ceremony and the reason what is the reason due to some prior engagement then the last sentence that is very important it is same as what we have written in formal invitation card i wish all the best for the program if you have or if you are planning to attend the program you can wish all the best from there but since you are not going there you can only wish all the best through this letter so you should do that i wish all the best for the program the rest is same that was declining invitation now i suggest you to prepare a cart a cart of words cart of extremely polite phrases that can be used in both formal invitation cards and letters so draw a cart and fill that cart with such phrases and you find out uh, such phrases new phrases that can be filled inside your cart this cart will come handy during the exams now let's move on to our homework please do this homework the next day we will see how to write formal invitation card so see you with the next lesson thank you